Hi everyone, my name is Diola Adibi and I am the founder of fashion and beauty blog Omogi Mora. Thank you and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about this makeup look right here. Everything used to create this makeup look apart from the brushes and the sponge cost less than 30,000 naira. Yes, less than 30,000 naira. People are under the assumption that makeup is a very very expensive habit and it can be expensive. But I'm here to tell you and here to show you that your pocket does not have to be large for your makeup to be on feet. You should be able to afford to fill in your brows. You should be able to afford foundation. You should be able to afford that nice lipstick you have. So I am here giving you options, budget-friendly options that will help your pockets and help your life. Brushes are an investment. I have, had, I have had these brushes for the longest time and they are still serving me well. So they are an investment. I spent $100 on them and right now the $100 is being worth it because now I don't have to go out and buy a new brush set. Now I don't have to go out and buy anything. Right now what I do is I buy single brushes that I need. So this is not even part of the main set. This isn't part of it, but everything here is from the same brush kit. And this is amazing. This is value for your money. So if you want to see how you can achieve this look, which costs less than 30,000 Naira, which is less the cost of some Ashray Bees out there. You know what I'm saying. Watch the rest of this video and I'll see you guys on the other side. This is in the shade Nubia and it is the perfect shade for my brow. It is just 2500 now. So this brow pomade is great if you're on a budget. Now I know you guys don't want to see the whole boring process of me filling out my brows. If you want to see that, it's up there. So all I'm going to do is this. Now my brows are all done. So I'm going to move on to eyeshadow. And with eyeshadow, what I really advise to do if you're on a budget is instead of buying a huge eyeshadow palette with so many colors that you're not familiar with or you don't like or you're not very sure just buy smaller quads or smaller palettes but what i suggest is to buy an eyeshadow palette like this this is the house of tara eyeshadow palette um eyeshadow quad set 03 I really like this palette because it gives you two matte shades and two shimmer shades and these matte shades are perfect for your crease and these shimmer shades are perfect for your lid this is just 2000 so i'm going to show you a nifty trick on how to create your own eyeshadow primer. All you need to do is apply a little bit of concealer to your lids, like this. Blend it out and apply some powder to set it and you have, you have primer right there. So first I'm going to go in with this shade right here into my crease to start defining the crease and start giving my eye a little bit of that nice smoky look. I'm done applying that product I'm gonna go in with a crease brush and with this shade right here directly into my crease now that I'm done with my crease I'm going to go in to my eyelid but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually layer the shade so I'm gonna put this darker one first on my lid and then I'm going to top it with this gold shade on to eyeliner now you can use whatever eyeliner you like the one I'm gonna be using today is a gel liner from Blot Beauty it is just 2,500 Naira now that I'm done with my wing and I'm done with my eyes I am going to apply mascara this is the Zara volumizing mascara and what I really really love about this mascara is the wand. Mascara is so good. It, it literally does not move anywhere. So if you're crying or if it's raining, it's going nowhere. And for my waterline, I am just going to apply black pencil. This pencil is a hundred naira in the market and there's several colors but there's black, there's brown, there's red. So if you're looking for a good pencil for your brows, for your eyelids, for your waterline, this is it. I've color corrected under my eyes and around my mouth and I am going to move on to foundation. Now, I know a lot of people have different skin types and different skin problems 
and foundation is very very tricky especially budget foundation because usually when you're going to buy foundation you want to be able to try it out you want to be able to test it and I know in most drugstores in America there's no way you can open the packet and actually try it you just have to hope but what I like about this foundation is that you can go to the store and get it you know shade matched and this is the Maybelline dream matte mousse foundation it is just 3650 naira so it is less than 5000 naira so if you're it's not that hard to you know replace oh, they just switched off the gen so <laughs> the sound is is better right now this foundation is bay right now because this is easier to use easier to replace plus it's matte it blends into my skin like a dream it's just perfect We're going to move on to contour and highlighting slash concealer. Now, you guys know that LA Girl Pro Conceal Toffee is big. This thing used to cost 800 naira, but then I assume because the dollar went up, now it costs 1,400. But it is still the best concealer I have used. It is great for the price point. Super creamy, super pigmented. When you use it to contour and highlight, it is. It just gives you a flawless finish. I don't have the other one, the one I used to contour, and I use the shade of Dark Cocoa to contour. I don't have it, I don't know where it disappeared to, and I tried to buy it, but I couldn't find it anywhere, so. It's always sold out in Lagos, I do not know why. going to move on to proper contour and highlighting and I'm going to show you all a contour kit that costs less than 10,000 or even costs less than 6,000. This is Dabota Lawson contour and highlight kit. It's a powder contour and highlight kit so it's perfect for setting concealers if you use them to contour and highlight but this one just costs 5,500 now. I think it's actually the most expensive thing out of all the makeup I'm using here today. To set my under eye I'm going to go in with this shade up there and I'm going to take this brush just gonna set and then to contour I'm gonna use this dark shade right here and I'm gonna use an angled brush so I'm gonna contour my forehead like this contour my cheekbones the trick for contouring your jawline go behind your ear like that it's time to apply blush and I usually don't apply blush but for this video I wanted to show a really budget friendly alternative to blush and the blush I'm going to be using for this look is the BM Pro Satin Powder Blush in the shade Merlot. Nice. It costs only 2,500 Naira and I do not know why BM Pro does not do more marketing for her products like this blush is fantastic. I'm just gonna use that, dot it up there, take my beauty blender and blend it out. Now it's time for highlighting now. My favorite highlighter that to use on a budget is the Milani Baked Bronze. It is a shimmer bronze. It's called um, Soleil and it has this beautiful gold shimmer to it. It is just 3,500 Naira. This is the best highlighter you'll get on a budget. Apply it to my cheekbones. Can you not already see the gold coming out? Okay, you see. Apply it to my cupid floor right up there. I'm gonna take a little bit and apply it to my brow bone, just a little. I'm gonna use my finger and use it to highlight my the bridge of my nose to blend it out. Now that I'm done with my face, I'm going to go back in to my eyes. I'm gonna take the House of Tara palette and take this shader brush and apply some product under my eyes like this. That is done. I'm gonna go in with mascara for my bottom lashes. Now that I'm done basically with everything, I'm just gonna take a pa my powder brush and I'm just gonna blend everything together. And for this look, I'm going to be using the Tears Cosmetics Liquid Velveteen in Lulua. I really like this because it lasts long, it's a really gorgeous color, and it's not ashy on me, it doesn't look anyhow. For a budget, you can go and there are different kinds of lipsticks. 
there's lipstick pens. I think Zara is really good with their lipsticks. House of Tara is really, really good with their lipsticks. I love their lipstick. So they're different, you know, they're different lipsticks for every budget and different lipsticks for even when you're on a, like, a really tight budget. Why I like this one and why I'm using it for this particular look is because, one, it goes with everything. Two, it's really colorful. It's really nice. It adds a bit of color to this kind of monochromatic look I have here. Also, it's bomb. See, it's cosmetics. I don't know what's in these things, but this liquid velveteens are bomb. And this is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. I know the economy is not that great right now and makeup really seems like a not that thing to really spend on right now. But just because the economy is bad doesn't mean your makeup has to be in shambles. So I hope I really helped you. You can follow me on social media. I am active everywhere. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter at D3OLA. You can like the official Omogimura Facebook page. That is facebook.com forward slash Omogimura. I'm always happy to talk, always happy to reply messages. So if you send me something, I will always reply you, except if I'm sleeping. If I'm sleeping, don't bother, I don't reply messages. But thank you once again for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.